my focus, my objective of coming to become a monk, I would like to improve my meditation. After I joining the first few weeks, I find that my meditation is more or less the same when I was a layman. I was a lot of stress. Did not, my meditation is still not what I expect. And uh, a lot of things wonder and come to my mind. But after ordained, we really have precepts. We really wear the robe and we act like a monk. I find that my meditation is improving. I will not say it's significantly or what I expect, but it's significantly improved because teacher monk asked us to, to lock down our meditation experience. And I will thought every day, how is my feeling? I make a scale from one to five. One is very wandering, I cannot focus. Two, improve, and three, four, five, until five is still. We, we have more precept. We prevent our, our what we say or what we do. And we watch our what we read, eat, and be mindful. And I think it's helped improve my meditation. I think the most memorable one is the very beginning is ordained. Because I think we, we all come as a layman with different uh, professional, different age. We have an age gap from 20 and 55 years. So, and we have different background from business, uh, just graduate and different professional. And we come together and mix together and, and practice how to ordain. But I think when the moment we, we go to ordain and we, we see our family, and how joyful they are when we, we see us clip our head, hair, and after we become ordained. I, I think it was the, one of the most memorable uh, memory that I see. I would say it flew very fast. Even our routine is it's the same every day. We wake up at around four something. We do morning chanting. After that, we we do some chore uh, together. It's something nice that we do could do together as a team. And we have breakfast together. After that, teacher mom will come to teach us. After that, we 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 eat lunch together. And in the evening, we do chore again until 9:30 and we sleep. It looked like a very simple and it's, in layman term it could be boring but it's not it's, it flew very fast i think you find a little bit peace and you not have external bothering your mind i, I think it's fly very fast
after that, I think I'm um, food, right? Because I think after we are doing for almost a week, we have experienced the arm food with the villager, right? And I, you could see that the people around there is not, is, is not, is considered a, a, a poor or a little bit of both. But what they give is they give the best in their kitchen to us and uh, to the, all the monks, right? And uh, I'm very grateful for that. So I think during Tudongka, at the beginning, it's quite a challenge because our teacher Mong said we have to walk seven kilometers, and we have to be mindful all the time, and it takes around two and a half hours to three hours. So physically, it's, it's tiresome, but I think when we are very mindful and we find the inner peace inside, it doesn't feel that tired at all, right? And after that, after when we pass by all the village and people start to uh, put their hand together and pray to us. I, I feel that we are do some, doing something noble for the people, right? We, we bring merit to their house and you could see from their eye, they are very joyful. And I think the activity that the teacher monk give us is, is there's not, not the same. Sometimes we have uh, walking, sometimes we have lighting the candle, sometimes we go some 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 temple, some place that we've never seen before. So it's quite interesting. For me, I find that my mind is less wandered. And if I could go back to become a layman now, at least I have some technique. How to meditate a little bit longer and sustainable. Because I think the teacher monk teach very simple. It's about sati and sabai, conscious and comfort, right? It sounds simple, but when you, you're doing it, it's not simple as it's safe, right? But I think after several coaching, several guides, and uh, personal coach by the teaching monk, you look inside yourself, and I think you understand yourself more. And I find, I, for me, I find that myself, I'm more comfortable than before. I, last yesterday, on average, I could meditate probably five to six hours a day. Uh, when I was layman, it's only half hour, and fine, it's very difficult. Before I coming here, I thought I was happy, but I'm not sure I'm really happy because something is missing, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. So I, I, I was expecting that 
through meditation to understand oneself more, I could do it. And I believe that if I could meditate every day, a certain period of time, and understand myself more, I would be a happy person no matter what, what situation in life. Because you live this more than 52 years, right? You have up and down. You have stress and one, stress and happiness. But I think if you do proper meditation, your your mind become a little bit more still. No matter what happened in your life, you you will be calm. All right. I think I will be calmer person, and I think I will be a better dad, better husband, and I be I believe I be I will be very happy person. I think the International Hmong Life Program is designed for everyone who wants to be happy, right? You don't need to be a Buddhist. You could be a Catholic or Muslim or whatever. You could join us if you want to be happy. And when I said happy, it's through uh, meditation and understand oneself.